Okay, continue on functions and graph 5.1 these are the learning outcome for these subtopics domain and range domain of a function this is the notation for domain domain of a function is the set of all real value of x such that fx is defined as real number usually refer to the interval of x range of a function f is the set of all possible real value of fx for each value of x in the domain or usually refer to interval of fx domain is the value of x and range is the values of fx there are two ways to find the domain and range first using graphical method for linear function below domain of f is denote f t of f equal to we look at the x axis so where the graph start and end so in this case the linear function this line will continue to the left until negative infinity so domain is negative infinity to infinity as the graph won't stop at any point so domain is from negative infinity to infinity and then range for range of f, look at the y axis. So this graph going from below means from negative infinity up to infinity. Then second graph. So linear graph, negative x. And then this graph, domain, look at the x axis. The graph start at negative infinity and going through the x axis to infinity as the graph will always going down to infinity and then range look at the y axis the graph will continue from below means negative infinity to going up and won't stop at any point means up to infinity and then next example this graph has starting point negative 2 4 means domain for f is negative 2 there are no graph for x less than negative 2 okay so and not included means negative 2 open interval up to and this graph is going straight there are no stopping point here so up to infinity and then range from y axis so y axis the graph start at negative 4 there are no graph below negative 4 so negative 4 is the range of this graph up to infinity next example is power function for the domain for this example again we look at the x axis the graph start at negative infinity and n at infinity and range for f graph start from above means infinity and going down up to zero there are no graph below zero point so the lowest point for this graph is zero and then again going up to infinity so highest point will be infinity and zero is included as the graph will cross x equal to zero second examples again quadratic negative x squared domain of f equal to look at the x axis start from negative infinity here going to zero and then going through to infinity so domain is negative infinity to infinity there are no stopping for x 
and then range of this function start from below negative infinity and then going up to zero and then again going down so this lowest point for this graph is negative infinity to highest point is zero there are no graph above zero point so this will be the range of fx next example for domain of f equal to again we look at the most left point of x is negative infinity and then going through zero and then going up again no stopping point so up to infinity then range of f is from above infinity going down to 2 here lowest point is 2 so graph won't cross point 2 means lowest point for this graph is 2 to infinity and then cubic function for cubic function domain look at the x exists again this graph it has no stopping point so negative infinity to infinity and then range graph start from below negative infinity to zero and then above infinity second example domain no stopping point so negative infinity to infinity and then range start from above going down so again no stopping point negative infinity to infinity then next example cubic graph start from domain negative infinity and then this graph has stopping point one five so value of x is one this domain negative infinity up to one included the one close bracket and then a range of f equal to look at the y axis the graph start from below negative infinity and then stop at five again included next example is a root function okay root function domain is starting point 0 to infinity there are no graph below 0 so starting from 0 to infinity and then range start from again 0 and above so there are no graph below 0 means range is 0 to infinity Next an example graph start from zero and to the left so domain is from negative infinity the, the most left value is negative infinity up to zero included and range is start from zero and above so range is zero to infinity and then next example domain the most left value for this graph is zero here it means zero and to the right so positive infinity range is from lowest point negative two and above so infinity next example domain from negative infinity to zero there are no graph above zero and then range start from below negative infinity and up to one there are no graph for y greater than one so range start from negative infinity up to negative one included next example 5 1 again domain of f start from starting point 5 and infinity going to the right and range lowest value of graph is 1 so range start from 1 and going up so up to infinity 
for absolute values graph domain is from negative infinity 0 to infinity so negative infinity to infinity and range is from lowest value of graph 0 to infinity next example domain the most left value is negative infinity up to infinity and then range start from negative infinity below graph up to zero there are no graph above zero so for this graph this graph has vertex negative two three so domain from left negative infinity to infinity and range is from lowest value of vertex is 3 to infinity next function vertex is at 3 so domain there are no stopping the graph negative infinity to infinity and range is from lowest value of y 0 to infinity finding domain and range using algebraic method by using algebraic method we don't have to sketch the graph for a f x equal to 6 minus 2x domain consider value for x so since x is a linear x can take any real number value negative infinity to infinity and then for range y equal to 6 minus 2x let x be a function y minus 6 divided by negative 2 equal to x and for range of f y can take values negative infinity to infinity next function fx equal to x square plus 6x minus 2 okay domain for quadratic function is also the value of x since x is square and linear x can take any value and then for range we need to calculate the minimum point or maximum point for y value so use this formula c minus b square over 4a to calculate the minimum or maximum point for y then c is negative 2 minus 6 square over 4 times 1 equal to negative 11 therefore the range of f is from negative 11 included up to infinity since the graph is positive so up to infinity next function fx equal to square root 2 x plus 1 minus 1 and using algebraic method domain for third is the starting point 2x plus 1 equal to 0 x equal negative 1 over 2 domain of f is negative